Good afternoon, good night, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Go ahead, press tag and share. It's been a minute. God bless you all. I'm going to give you a chance to get on. Praise God. Just said the Lord, you will win. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And this is anointed music, by the by the way. This, this is not just any music. Um, I didn't I couldn't even put my title on here, but I'm talking about gates. I just want to let this play for one more second. Praise God, hallelujah. And that is by Jacqueline Carr, you will win, the said the Lord. But that is not the um, title of this video. The title of this video is that too many sins are compromising. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. God was saying to me tonight, and um, I am sorry I haven't been on here. I have a lot of projects that I'm working on, but most of all, I'm working on my relationship with God. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I don't care about this social media. Hold on. Don't get it twisted. I love talking to you guys. I love ministering to you guys, but that is not the sole purpose of why we are here, and that's what's happening in the world today. What I'm getting ready to talk about is the gates. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Your eye gate, your ear gate, your mouth gate, all the gates, the private gates. Come on, somebody, who you let through the gate. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And that's what's happening right now. So many of you, and I'm going to have to keep it straight to the point because that's how I roll, hallelujah, to his name. Too many people are compromising for fame. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. For association, for money, you know what I'm saying. And so you're not protecting your gates. Just like I played this song, Jacqueline Carr, You Will Win. I don't play but anointed music. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm not saying that people don't sound good. I'm not saying I don't like sound good music. Oh, come on, somebody, I make up things. I'm from Louisiana, hallelujah. I have to watch what comes to my gates, what goes through my gates, what I hear, what I see, what I feel, who I'm connected to. And a lot of you are not connecting to the right people in this hour. We have a great falling away in this hour, thus said the Lord. This is real because everybody wants to be a star. Oh, I'm going to keep saying that to the day I die. Everybody wants to be famous. Everybody wants accolades. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. My heart is disheartened when I get on Facebook, just to be honest with you. I see so many people, and, and let me go ahead and put this disclaimer out there. Ain't nobody hating on nobody, because guess what? Ain't nobody going to do it like Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. What am I saying? I'm seeing people that are just on Facebook, and, and, and y'all just follow them just because they, uh, oh, I'm going deep tonight. Some of you follow people just because they look good. Oh, I'm, I'm talking to you single women that are Christians. Because let's be honest, the Bible says the ratio would be what? 10 to 1, 12 to 1. So you got more women in church. So y'all thirsty. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and say that word because it's true. Because God said, those that thirst, thirst after me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But y'all thirsting after. Oh, I'm going to say it. Marcus Rogers. Um, What's the other one? The little fake prophet. Um, I forgot the little boy name. God forgive me. I, I, I just don't follow them. And, and, and again, ain't nobody hating. I'm telling you how y'all getting sidetracked by what's going in your eyes, your ears. I don't let anyone just minister to me. I'm not trying to say that I'm all that. I'm not trying to say that I'm the only holy one because none of us are holy. We all fall short of the glory of God. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to entertain foolishness. What I'm not going to do is you ain't going to play with my spirit because I'm trying to get to heaven. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. This thing for me is real. This is not about um, social media. This is not about accolades. This is about who going to like me, who's not going to like me, who's going to follow me, who's I could care less. Truth be told. Hallelujah. I'm trying to stay safe. Hallelujah. I'm trying to make it to heaven. I don't have time for the foolishness. So you're not guarding your gates. Y'all listen to anybody that sound good, that look good, that may be good. Come on, somebody. But everybody says, Lord, Lord, it's not of God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God said. A lot of you are falling by the way. Then a lot of you are falling by the way because uh, they lying to you guys. Um, Everybody's, and I keep hearing this saying, so I have to say it. Get that money. I'm going to say it again. Get that money. I'm going to say it one more time. Get that money. Let me tell you something. All money ain't good money. My mother used to say that. I didn't understand what she was saying. I do today. Hallelujah. All money ain't good money. Some of you chasing money, not God. Some of you chasing a man, not God. Some of you doing things on a slick, and then you're paying for it on the front and the back. And I'm talking about you, you store away Christians. And then, oh, I got to say something tonight. My friends, you have to be careful who you're connected to. 
And how you always know if you connect to somebody bad. And, and hold on, I got to say this, even family members, because some of you, you don't understand. I know when something is not right. We know when something is not right, but I'm going to tell you what we do. Because we are emotionally tied, spiritually tied, you go ahead and you, and you keep on going wrong with that thing or with that person. Let me tell you something. The devil is a liar. You better learn what is happening to you, what's draining you, what is spiritually stopping you, blocking you. Oh, come on, somebody. I know it's somebody trying to block me. I know when somebody trying to stop me. I know when somebody hindering my spirit. And one thing I have learned to do, so I know this is a process for some of you, anybody or anything that tries to stop my relationship with God, I promise you before God, I will cut you off. And you can get mad, talk about me on social media, talk about me to my family. Oh, come some of them family. I don't care. Yes, I will always love you. Hallelujah. But I am not called to be connected to something that is not of God. Because Matthew 6, 33 says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, not your righteousness, not who you connected to, not if you have money, not if you have fame, not if you're in Hollywood, honey, I could care less. God bless you and I still love you. But I'm not going to be connected to anything that drains my spirit, anything that stops me from flowing, anything that stops my anointing, anybody, anything. What am I saying? You got to get stronger in the Lord. Now, how do you do this, Apostle? You Whatever. If, if it's getting away from social media. You notice I only come on here when I really have. Well, I have, I've been working so hard. You guys, I really have. Praise God. But not only that, I've really been spending a lot of time with God because you remember how I used to be on here all the time? And I'm not saying that God didn't call me to be on here. I'm not saying that. But I have my priority straight. How can I truly come before the body of Christ? Hold on. In honor and in integrity in truth. Because you don't need flesh. You don't need no light. And you don't need me performing. How can I truly stay anointed and appointed to deliver what God is truly saying if I'm spending so much time with you all? Or if I'm on social media? Or if I'm doing this? Or if I'm doing that? Hallelujah to his name. So the body of Christ have to get back the priorities. What is important to you? Because this world is passing. I don't know if you really have your eyes open, your spirits open, your hearts open. The devil is here. And, and hold on. He has been granted this time. And it's going to get worse. I'm so sorry. I know you want to pray it away and you don't like truth and all this. But let me tell you something. It's going to get worse before it gets better. And what you going to do when they come for you? Oh, I'm talking about them spirits. Oh, I'm talking about the evil that's rising. You cannot combat that except by the spirit of God. And these come out but by fasting and praying. Half of y'all don't want to fast. Half of you don't want to pray because you're too busy getting that money. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You're too busy trying to be a star. You got so many people in the church. The church, not even the church. I'm going to tell you what God told me just last night. God said the church, the body, this is the way he said, I want to say it exactly how he said it. He said the body of Christ is in crisis. I'm going to say it again. The body of Christ is in crisis. I'm going to say that one more time. The body of Christ is in crisis because here's what the anointing is not there. It's not authentic. Now, hold on. A lot of people are anointed to preach and teach. But the true anointing is not there. The true anointing breaks yokes, break burdens. You lay hands and the people's recover. The pastors don't have time to lay hands because they're too busy going from city to city, state to state. But yet their own flock is suffering. Oh, I said it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm coming through. I'm walking heavy. Hallelujah. Get mad if you want to. You're so busy trying to build your brand. You're so busy trying to build up two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight churches in one town. Mm. I never read that in the Bible. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just quoting scripture. I've never seen that in the Bible. Oh, come on, somebody. Now, they did travel the world, but they didn't build up eight, nine, ten churches. Hold on. I'm going to go deep. They didn't have four or five services. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. I'm going to walk through here. It don't matter who with me, who not. Because let me tell you why they didn't have fast food churches. You know how fast food restaurants, windows all around here, McDonald's all every corner. It is, churches are every corner, right? How many people getting saved? But let me tell you, God did not ordain you to have four or five services. Stop lying because here's the deal. The Holy Spirit. And, and, and I keep going back to tradition because a lot of you don't like tradition. But what you don't understand is that tradition is what got us to the anointing. Come on, somebody that kept us to the anointing because the Bible says, tell your children and tell their children and tell their children. But not everybody want to be new school. Uh, I don't care what you say. Old school will always rule because old school showed how it was done. There was a standard. There was an anointing. There was rules. There were regulations. Not everybody do what they want to do. 
God did not anoint you to do four or five services. But first of all, your body can't hold out that long picture, practice, teacher. <laughs> Come on, somebody. I don't care how young you are. Sooner or later, you're going to wear yourself out. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I ain't hating because who cares? Hallelujah. But God. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. The anointing and the spirit of God should have time to, to really go through a service and, and give you the word that God have in your spirit to the people. That's how that's supposed to happen. But you already have your sermon, right? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You mean to tell me the Holy Ghost don't never change your sermon? Y'all ain't ready for me. You mean to tell me the Holy Ghost? Because let me tell you something. I have something else that I, now I am on the Internet. And I promise you before God, I had something else I was going to talk about. God said, no, you're not. You're going to talk about this. And he just said that. And I was like, okay, switch it up. Because guess what? What I may want to talk about may not be what you need to hear. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah to his name. We got to get back out of self and get back into flowing in the spirit of God. People don't need us. We're not that great. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. I know we think we are, but people are hurting in this hour like never before. We don't need no accolades. We don't need no entertainment. We need the spirit of God because at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, when I'm really going through it, at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, when my spirit is vexed, at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, when everybody else sleeping and I'm wondering how I'm going to pay bills, how I'm going to do this, why am I lonely, God? What La, la, la. That's what you go through. And the only thing could take you through is the anointing. Because that's why people are stressed. That's why people are tired, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. But it is true. Pastor, preacher, teacher, apostle, prophet, evangelist. People are hurting right there in your church. People are suffering. And I need to tell you something. If the head is sick, which is the preacher, teacher, apostle, whoever, the body is sicker. Oh, the body of Christ is in crisis. Because the, the leaders don't want to be anointed. They want to be appointed. And they have been appointed. Meaning that who, who can bring in a crowd? Who can articulate? Who can be intelligent with the word? Or who can work the word? Who can just give me Jesus and the anointing? I don't care where you're from. Just give me Jesus and the anointing. I don't care who you are. Just give me Jesus and the anointing. I don't care how many doctorates you got. And it's not about that at all. But do you have the anointing? Can you really feed my spirit Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because I don't have time to play games. And I don't know about you. The reason why I became and who I am, because one thing I never did, and every preacher that I was under could tell you this, no disrespect, but I would tell them, don't play with me. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. My spirit, I, I, I need the real thing. My soul, I need the real thing. I, I, I love you, but don't play with me. Don't be in sin and yet get up on the pitch pit, the pulpit, and they sit up there and lie. Don't do that to me because my soul needs more than that. My spirit needs more than that. I'm trying to stay safe. I'm trying to walk in obedience. I'm trying to walk in the anointing. I don't need you performing. I don't need you stunting. I don't need you faking. And how will you know? Because there's no anointing. Yes, you, you, your, your flesh will get aroused. Oh, pastor preached, whatever. Did you reach my spirit? Did you convict me? Did your words convict me? Did God give you a message that was only for me that day? Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, I felt that way because we all feel that way. Oh, that was for me. Well, in, in reality, it's for everybody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you felt it because it came from the throne of God, the power of God. Because only in the midst of God, the presence of God, is the power of God, is the anointing of God. That's when people are healed and delivered for real. We don't need you performing. Too many people performing. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Too many people. Is, is, is This is a lucrative business. Come on, somebody. You just say the right thing. And, and, and I hate to say it this way, but I have to. Unfortunately, the Bible says that in the last days, people would have itching ears. Most people love that. Oh, the real ones almost have to beg for people to sow into them. And I'm just being real. Not trying to beg on here or anything. I'm just keeping it honest. But the fake ones, and I'm going to tell you why. Because they have a lying spirit, which is a prosperity spirit. You guys believe that if you sow into prosperity, you get prosperity. Oh, but I'm from the old school. You sow into the anointing, you get the anointing. End of story. Hallelujah. I don't have to preach that much for it. Hallelujah. I am on here to tell you, guard your gates. Be careful. Be mindful who you listen to. Be mindful who you follow. Be mindful what you do. Be mindful what you say, because some of you slick at the mouth. And be mindful of who are you attached to. Because some of you don't want to hear, but you're attached to something that's trying to kill you. You are attached to something that's trying to take you down. That is a spirit. That is an assignment. 
And some of you don't want to hear it. And I know it's hard, especially when it's a family or friends or even a lover or a husband or a wife. You're, you're not ready for me. Because I, I, I love them and, and I, I don't know how I can live without them. Or it could be just a sibling. It could be it could be a daughter. It could be y'all don't hear what I'm saying today. Hallelujah. Tonight, whatever morning, wherever you at. You better check out their spirit. And I'm going to tell you again, anything that threatens your relationship with God, anyone, cut them off. I don't care. Oh, and I'm not saying be cold and callous. Always love people. But sometimes, you know how the old people say, I, I, you know, I really wish I could find a long handed spoon. I'm talking about them big old spoons that grandma used to have. Y'all know they was about this long. They don't make them that way. But they used to say, feed them a long handed spoon. Hallelujah. I still do. By the plan. You talk about me all day. I'm going to stay anointed. You talk about me all day. I'm going to see Jesus. You talk about me all day. I'm going to walk that walk. You talk about me all day. I'm going to talk that talk. And I will cut off anything or anyone that threatens that. Hallelujah to his name. But you got to be consistent. Not, a lot of you are not consistent. Because I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, Lord, this is going to the, the other to the left, but I hear your spirit. A lot of you, and, and this is called the blessings of Abraham. How did Abraham truly get blessed? I'm going to challenge some of you tonight. How did, how did he really get blessed? God never gave us a job. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. He gave us a work to do. Oh, I, can, I, I wish I had time to break that thing down. God never gave us a job. That's Pharaoh's system, baby. Oh, that's why you're tired and stressed out working two or three jobs and still ain't making it. Hallelujah. God gave us a work to do. What is a work? That is your worship. What is worship? What is your calling? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said, he said your, 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 your gift will make room for you. Y'all sitting up there trying to go get that money and, and yet omitting your calling and then wonder why, God, why isn't things working out? Now, hold on. Truth be told, even when you do get into your calling, oh, you're going to have some challenges because we have a real enemy. So what am I saying? Half you could doing the wrong thing right now anyway. Because you, you, you don't want to let go of that job. You don't want to let go of that money. You don't want to let go of, uh, y'all know. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because that's what you believe in more than God. Because when you start trusting God, God, I trust you. I don't know how you're going to do it. God, I trust you. I don't know when you're going to do it. God, I trust you. I don't understand it, God, but God, I trust you. That's love. But you can't, you can't do that like that. Because the enemy... We're talking about Gates again. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He, he'll start talking to you. You know, you need that job. You don't know how you're going to make it. You know how God is. Because sometimes you have to be honest. Sometimes God looks like he's just strolling when you are in need. Like, it's 12 o'clock, God. I needed the money, like 11.59. But I believe God does that to show you I am God all by myself. I'm going to take care of you. But do you trust me? Do you really trust me? Because I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of us love God, but do you trust God? Do you trust God? Because when you trust God, you let it all go. Let me tell you something. And then I'm going to get off out of here. I remember, and a lot of you that follow me, you should know my testimony. When I was in Hollywood, and when I was with Stevie Wonder and also marketing director of Hometown Buffet, and I was, it seemed like I, I'm not kidding. It seemed like money was just coming in. I'm talking about thousands. And I'm sometimes I was getting checks. I didn't even know where they were coming from. I said, okay, fine, I'll cash it. You know, I'm just being honest with you. When I came into the body of Christ, and I'm going to mess some of, some of you up right now, but I want you to listen with the spirit, things shifted. And the first thing I said, I said, God, you don't want to be successful. You don't want this. You don't want that. And it isn't that God doesn't want you successful. I understand he keeps you humble. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. You see, the world, he does the same thing that Jesus, that he did to Jesus. If you, excuse me, if you fall down and worship me, I'll give you this, this. And that's why most people, that they go after the world. Hold on, because I'll mess some of you up with the truth. Some of you, and you make me laugh. You think, okay, I'm going to make it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Who owns the world? Who is the God of this world? So you can't do anything without his, y'all not ready. Now, God is the ultimate God. Don't get it twisted. But God gave him this worldliness because that's what he is, because God is a holy God. Y'all not listening to me. Hallelujah. And so what am I saying? What are you more in love with, the world or God? Because you will be challenged in that area. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. There are so many people that have lost their anointing because I'm going to be a star. And God say, you have your reward. He'll, get, he'll let you have it. He'll get your reprobate mind too. 
Not saying that God doesn't want you blessed. Not saying God doesn't want you walking in prosperity. But there is a way that seemeth right unto man, but thereunto is death, saith the Lord. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Make the right choices. Make sure it's God. Because anything or anybody that takes you from the love of God, separates you from God, is not of God. Period. I don't care. And y'all will stamp God on it. Oh, she blessed. He blessed. Really? Because I don't feel no anointing. Really? I don't see no change. Really? I don't see them destroying yokes. Really? I don't see them changing people's lives. Really? The anointing is real. And it's not for sale. You can't buy that, honey. Ooh, you can't buy that. So I pray that you understand. And I'm going to put the title. This is a brand new computer. And do you know I could not type the title? As a matter of fact, it took me a long time just to type. I don't own the copyrights to this song. I say, say, you, you, I, I, I get it. Be very afraid. Because can I tell you something? <laughs> uh, I'm on a journey that is so good. Oh, it's been bittersweet. Don't get it twisted. But I, I feel the power of God like I've never felt before. Things are being restored inwardly and outwardly. And I thank you, Jesus, for it. Because I've come to realize the true power of God. It's not wealth. It's not riches. But it is the power and the presence. Oh, i got to say that one more time. The power and the presence. I'm going to say that one more time. The power and the presence of God precedes every and anything in this world that it can offer you in Jesus Christ of Nazareth name. How bad do you want it? Because some of you don't want it that bad. Now, if you just want to show off or you just want accolades or you just want a big following, I get that. But when you've been through some stuff, oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. When you've been through some stuff, some real stuff, you just want to help people. Lord, help me free my brother and sister. Let me pray for them for real, God. Let me touch their spirit for real. Let them feel you, not me. This ain't about us. It's about God. When are we going to return back to the throne? Oh, come on. When are we go back before the brazen altar? Mm-mm-mm. For the power of God. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. And I pray that you truly don't sell your soul. Don't sell your soul. And hold on. You ain't got to be in Hollywood to sell your soul. Don't sell your soul to anyone or anything. Let God be first in everything you say, everything you do. Repent quickly if you miss it. But one thing I really need you to understand tonight. Quit letting people drain you. Quit, quit, stop being connected to the wrong person or thing. Walk away from anything or anyone. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I always ask God, can I tell a story? Before I left my father's house, because a lot of you, you follow me, I was in Louisiana. I'll never forget this. I was saying, but God, I got to take care of my father. I got to do this. You know what God told me? He said, Deanna, you are stronger away. Y'all ain't ready for me. I said, God, what do you mean by that? He said, I got this. I just need you to take care of what I need you to take care of. And I'm going to take care of what you want. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all sitting there trying to do it yourself. Wearing yourself out spiritually, mentally, emotionally. If you take care of God's business, God is obligated to take care of your business. But more, you're trying to do it yourself. And when I got that revelation, I said, God, you're right. My position is to stay in position of prayer, of fasting, of on my face. And then you got everybody I love. You got everything I need. You got everything. Might not come the way I want it. Might not come how I want it. Might not come how much I want. But 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 long as you got me. Hallelujah. Please don't leave me. Don't leave me, God. That's what matters. All this other stuff, it too shall pass. Hallelujah. So God bless you. I miss you all. I really do. You just don't know how much I love you. you. Don't know how much I love God. When you love God, you got to love God's people. Even when they ain't right, you be like, okay. <laughs> all right. God bless you. God keep you. Have a blessed one. Be strong in the Lord. Be safe in the Lord. And be obedient. That's the key. I don't care how much you have or don't have. But obedience is better than sacrifice any day, any time. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldier. For that is truly who we are. God bless.